Hello, I'm Mikey Avelli, and welcome to this guide for unlocking the Mycelium Mushroom Transport System. The Mycelium Transport System is a teleportation system of four connected mush trees. To unlock them, you must activate them by walking to them, which is fairly easy to do for all but one of them. So there aren't many requirements. You simply need access to Fossil Island, which requires the Bone Voyage quest, which also requires 100 Varrock Museum kudos. If you need help with gaining kudos, I'll leave some guides in the description. So when it comes to the fourth mush tree, although this isn't a requirement, you might want to have 51 or more HP. This is because the quickest method to get to this mush tree, you will have to survive a one-off hit of between 40 to 50 damage. You can use Sara Bruise or Anglerfish to boost beyond your max HP. So I'm gonna recommend a dig site pendant for quick and easy access to Fossil Island. And I'm gonna recommend with multiple charges, although it's not necessary. You're also going to want weight reducing clothing and maybe a stamina potion or two, because there will be lots of running. So although it's not necessary, it will help. And for the fourth mush tree, there is an alternative way, which will require you to bring an ax, a rake, an anti-poison, high healing food, and whatever you need to tank hits from level 132 monsters. Protection prayers will not work, and their max hit is seven. So if you have below 51 HP, and you're thinking of doing this method, do it at your own risk. I would not recommend it as it takes longer and I think the risk is actually higher, but I'm going to show you anyway. So you can make up your own mind. So for the first three mush trees, you won't need anything except for your weight reducing clothing and stamina potion. So we're gonna start by heading to Fossil Island. I'll be using the dig site pendant to teleport to the dig site. Alternatively, you can simply head east to this location from Varrock. So once you've arrived north of the dig site, simply head east, right click the barge guard and select quick travel. We've now arrived at the Fossil Island camp. For the first mush tree, we're simply gonna head along the coastline, south slash southeast, until we come to a hill we can walk up to the east. Now walk up the hill east and keep heading east. To the north, you should see the mush tree in a clearing with some grass and iron ore. Now simply head north to the east side of the clearing until you see an opening. Head west into the clearing and click on the mush tree to activate it. Congratulations, that's the first one done. Now you can simply walk back to the Fossil Island camp or you can do what I'm going to do and use the dig site teleport. From there, I'm gonna head east, speak to the barge guard, quick travel, and we're back at the camp. So once we've arrived back at the camp, we are going to head northwest towards the three hardwood tree patches. Walk up the hill just south of the tree patches and climb the ladder. Once you're up the ladder, simply cross the walkway and climb down the ladder on the other side. Now, walk northeast and cross the wooden bridge. On the western side of the building, you will find some stairs. Click on them to enter the house on the hill. The mush tree is to the north. This house is also the location where you'll unlock the Fossil Island Teleport option on the dig site pendant. So if you haven't already done that, there is a strange machine in the south of the room that looks like a book with a picture of a dig site pendant on it. If you use the dig site pendant on the book, you will unlock the Fossil Island Teleport option on your dig site pendant. And now for the third mush tree. Once again, I'm just going to teleport using the dig site teleport. Starting from the camp, we are going to head west towards the mushroom forest. Then once we're north of the swamp, we're simply gonna head north and look for the transportation sign on the minimap. Although there are a lot of mushrooms in this forest, the mush tree is pretty hard to miss. So click on it and activate it. Now for the final mush tree. We're going to head south towards the swamp. And then once we enter the opening of the swamp, we're gonna head west. And it's in the very northwest corner, you'll find a rubber cap mushroom. But beware, especially hardcore iron men, that you're about to take between 40 to 50 damage. That's why I recommend anglerfish or sarabrus, just to be safe, so you can heal over your max HP. So you can boost your HP over its maximum. So I'm just warning you before we jump. Once you land, don't move because there is a spike mushroom ready to hit you if you make one wrong step. Now, if this spike mushroom hits you, it will do up to 10 damage and it will poison you. Just head around the south side of the mush tree and you should be okay. Simply click on the rubber cap and select, I don't care, I'm doing it. Click on the mush tree and use it to leave this dreadful swamp. 
Alternatively, if you're a madman or have a reason why you cannot use the rubber cap mushroom, you can traverse the swamp. Make sure you have a wood cutting axe, a rake, an anti-poison and some high healing food. So to traverse the swamp, we're going to need to clear out two obstacles. The first are thick vines, which can be cut with an axe, and there are regular vines on the floor, which can be raked. So to enter the swamp, we're gonna simply cut the first thick vine. Head south, cutting any vines in your way or raking any vines that are, that are blocking your path. A level 132 tar monster will appear and attack you with type plus attack that have a max hit of seven, which protection prayers have no effect on. So don't bother using protection prayers. Maybe defense prayers will help, but I'm not certain about that, but boosting your defense can't hurt. And make sure to eat so your health doesn't get low. Now keep following the swamp south, all the way south, until it bends round. Once it's bending round, you'll see some more vines in your way. Just rake them or cut them. Now you can just head north to the mush tree, avoiding the spine mushroom, as it would not be ideal to get hit here and poisoned before you've even activated the mush tree. So activate the mush tree and get out of here. If this video helped you, be sure to like the video and consider subscribing. Any questions or suggestions, leave a comment. As always, this was Mikey Avelli, signing out.